Well, hello, 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 my mad scrappers. This is a different way of me starting a video, only because um, I, I've come in from a different avenue. Um, I had to make two sympathy cards this week. I had to get them done uh, uh, for the death of a husband of a friend and also the death of the mother of another friend. And I always have great difficulty putting these cards together because I feel emotionally invested in it. So it's just hard for me to get the creativity going, but I always fall back to um, what materials I have. And in this case, um, this kit from Anna Griffin that I got, I think it was, I got it probably at the beginning of the pandemic timing, whatever, how you, you want to view it. But I did get this kit, so I've gone back to it. This is the one I was looking for when I did the other sympathy cards out of the carte noir. This was the kit I was looking for. I knew I had it, but it was in storage. So now it turned up when I went and got stuff out of storage. So I have already made my cards. You can tell these are the two I have made in the immediate. And you're going to say, well, Myra, what's the point of this video then? Well, because I got the thinking, because every time I have to make these cards, I have, I, I struggle with them. So I realized that what I really need to do, especially with this card, is just to crank them all out. And that's unusual for me to be able to just sit there. I think I've only done it once or twice, shown you guys, hey, I did the whole entire kit. This is what I had left over, blah, blah, blah. So I've decided that's what we're going to do. I'm going to quickly go through at least one, do one of the cards with you guys together here. And then I'm going to come and probably, and, and then do all of them. Just ramrod through all the cards and get them done while I'm not, I'm not, you know, channeling the person who I'm making this for. And then I can maybe channel more of my creativity and use up all the materials. So then when I need the next time I need a sympathy card, I have it ready, which is what we should all be doing with anything that we need, like birthday cards. Some of us don't have a stash of birthday cards. Don't ask me why, but that's the truth. But so without further ado, give me a second. Let me clear some space here and I will put together some stuff and we're going to crack, you know, do a couple of cards together. Okay. Be right back. Okay, I am back and I wanted to show you guys that all these kits always come for Anna Griffin with an inspiration sheet that gives you ideas on how to decorate some of these cards. So don't be silly. Use this. I mean, what the heck, especially when you have a moment where you can't think of what to do or you're like, ah, then use this to help you get through the mental block. So I used it. I set it aside. Remember, it is a guide. It's not a girdle. OK, but it's inspiration to give you an idea and get the creative juices going. And in many I, um, instances, it did give me um, some ideas. The other thing is, especially in this car, because the kit comes uh, with some gold paper. It came. Let's see. We came. We had gold paper. A lot of it. I still have a lot left over. I didn't use it. I also had, um, we had piece, uh, oh my Lord, vellum to use it. Again, I didn't use a lot, a lot of it. Actually, it was more like I was very miserly with it. And we needed dyes. And I didn't want to use repeatedly the same dyes. And I really love this one. I'd love to know which one it is because I don't have it. I'd like to see if I could lay my hands on it still. But some very cool dyes were used here. But don't be afraid to cost pollinate and see what you've got in your stash, which is what I did. I did use one. I did have pulled one of the, let me grab it from right over here. One of my border dies that I had. This one is from, that I got with my Create 3 from, you know, Create a Craft at Home um, from just a, this past weekend. So I did pull that one. And then I went looking through and I thought, hey, wait a minute. So we, I pulled some. I got a couple of craft. Well, actually, all of them were crafter companions. But all of these could lend themselves to being used as for this die con. This is another Anna Griffin that I did have. So that one I was able to use. And it was from totally not even meant to be a border die. It's from um, one of the card kits. So always look at the possibilities and check your stash for what you're going to do. But now, anyway, I have pulled the pieces for this card in particular. One of the things I did determine I wanted to do was I wanted this one to be a little bit up because remember, this is what I always say about cards in general. We always try to make a very flat because that way it's less postage, blah, blah, blah. Here is my prevailing theory and I'll repeat it again. If you're going to go to the trouble of making a card this nice, you're using Anna Griffin stuff or any card. Um, if, you, if the person you're making it for merits a handmade card, are we really going to quibble, start quibbling over postage? I mean, that's just me. So is this going to cost me a buck to mail? Probably. And 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 then I say, is this person worth it? I mean, at the point that I'm already grabbing a kit that wasn't all that cheap either. Really? 
we're gonna put we're not gonna start you know going back and forth about a, the, the, a buck in postage let's say so take that how you wish that's me i i no longer i just cringe if i want to I'm like oh, okay it cost me a buck 50 whatever and i get over it and then i move on because am i really i go if this person again is worth making a card for then there we go so anyway i went ahead and just put two pieces i just i go i mean this is the stuff i get from um dollar tree so which is why i have no compunction about using up vast amounts of of um of the dimensional tape so i have this but i want to tuck this under my idea was to do is to basically to do this type of sticking out a little bit and i got that inspiration from where oh gee the inspiration sheet so i like that so my idea is to just put that on top go to a little bit to the left and because it's just a bunch of words so it's like oh my gosh i'm not hiding this beautiful you know background it's cool but it's not like oh, all that and a, and a slice of bread so I want to, I want to, I, my next thing is always, I have the gold, so we don't want to block it. I mean, it's not, again, it's just letters. And I purposefully grabbed the plainest so that you can see that you can make something really, really beautiful. And it's just by, with the ephemera. So I grabbed some of my flowers. My, my idea is this, is to just, I mean, I may cover some of the words, um, we're going to grab this little lily, I think, and tuck it in. My plan is to tuck it in into the C, into the inspiration itself. And then we're going to add this little guy. I haven't decided, do I want to put him up here? That's the only thing I'm indecisive or move everything up a little bit and then put him. No, I think I'm going to leave him up here because otherwise there's not enough interest. So we're just going to tuck him in there. Now, the question is, how much are we going to pop up so we're going to set this aside we're just going to oh look it migrated all together because the next thing we have to put down is this because this is going to go tucked under that so i'm going to go ahead and it is very i mean it's very lacy it's beautiful but at the same token this part is not going to be seen because it's going to be tucked so i can go ahead and just grab big mama because that'll be the one and i'm not going to go all the way to the top i don't have to and it's also going to get held in place remember by and i get yep yeah, okay it's, it's so you can see it you're going to see the tape but it's not going to be visible now let me grab this piece here because now i have to sidle i have to decide where i'm going to put stuff and oh now what is visible and i wasn't paying attention okay where is my pokey tool pokey tools over here i miss that Ooh, we have little pieces there so let's poke those out bad bad i did use my my empress and it's usually very 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 good and I can't wait because I ordered a new magnetic mat. I actually have ordered two small and one big for it so that I have a supply laid in. <laughs> because heaven forbid. And I mean, that it's, I, I like that. So that came together very easy. So now I can go ahead and I burnished it. And I'm going to reburnish it again because why not? And I'll find, I don't know where my other, my favorite pokey tweezers are so we use this you know the other ones i don't i like the the my other rainbow like colored ones because they have a little bit of a curve but these are very sharp too almost too sharp sometimes because i just tore it it's like yeah there's sometimes too much of a good thing come on my pretty come on there we go i'll just lift that off and now we're going to put this down again a little bit lower i want a little bit of that so we see a little bit more of the detail maybe not all the way to the far left see a little bit uh just because and we're going to call it good. Now we have that down. Now it's all about these pieces. So do I lay that flat? This one I think I am going to put down flat. Maybe I can put a little... Um, it, it it wants to stick up, but I still want to have that bit of a little bit more popping up because, you know, why not? That's just... It's my card, so that's what I want to do with it. Now, can I fit this guy in here? I think he's a little too big. So where, I don't know where my little teal scissors have gone to. I just had them hand. Oh, I see them. Hang on, there we go. These, I just want to take a little bit, take a little bit off here, and we'll just stick it back on there. And now we're just going to take that and just put it here. So it'll pop that up. So when I, because I will, what I'll do is I'll glue down the bottom. So now it'll keep that little bit popped up. Go a little bit that way. I just want to bop, but you can still see the words coming out from the bottom. This is where I have to decide. Actually, I don't even have to really, in all honesty, glue down 
the flower because this is going to be stuck on top of it, but I'm going to anyway. So let me grab a little bit. I'm gonna grab Nouveau now only because I actually want it to glue fat, dry fast. And this dries a little bit faster than my Barely Art, which is my, in general, go-to. So I'm gonna put that down right about here, I think, right? That worked for me. It works for me because we're gonna, I could have gone down a little bit lower. Can I still, do I still have widget time? I have widget time. And we'll do that. And what I did not do because I'm a Dingledorf is I forgot that, whoops, well that flower's all right, is I forgot to take the tape off. And I don't wanna bend this so, and now I moved it. So let's put that back. I should have waited till it really dried and then peeled off, all right? It's okay. Be careful and let me kind of pry, there we go. Take that up, oops, there we go. No harm, no foul. And now we can put that down once I have to decide that and then we just tuck, I'm gonna tuck it right in here. That's what I have to decide, the placement here. And that works for me, I believe. Now do I wanna see it? There we go. It's kind of like the Meyer, don't get too crazy, you know? And, it, and then I sit here like, ah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And I have to stop doing that. So let's now just take this off and just commit. We're gonna commit. Let me put that tucked in there because that's gonna tell me everything. And we're just gonna put it right here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time decision making. And we're gonna go here. And we'll just add a little bit of glue there. And then we're gonna tuck it right there, sandwich it right here. And there we go, maybe bring it up a little bit higher. And I'll wipe that little bit of glue off because it dries clear anyway. There we go. Let me a little bit higher. Come on, my pretty. And here it's not, it'll, it wants to stick up of, of its own volition. So we have that. And then now we just have the little final flower to add on. And I do want to dimensionalize that. So we're going to take one of these guys off and we just pop it up right there. And we'll just make sure it sticks. And then we take that off. Come here. And I'm gonna go this way. And there we go. All I have to do, Ashley, is add my sentiment sheet. So give me a second. I gotta pull them out of, oh, I have them right here handy. So this kit also comes with a whole bunch of these sentiment inserts. So I says, caring speakings when words cannot. So here's the perfect one, praying for you, caring about you, sending you strength. I like, although I don't know, it seems almost, here's day, any prayer, let me see, let me see, let me see. I, I don't know, I think it's pretty good. Their friendship with sincere empathy. Oh my gosh, I can sit here and think all day about which one am I going to use or go with the first one and the heck with it. I think I'm gonna do that. We're just gonna go with the first one and let's not be crazy here. But again, beautiful, it's right there. So all we have to do now is just put it inside our card. So we're just gonna grab Big Mama and I'm gonna run tape right along the back, right on the edge. So I'm gonna not go fast like I normally do so that I stay right on the edge. Then all we have to do is we open up our card. We make sure that this is right side up, right? Right, 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 it's right side up. And then I'm gonna tuck it in and I'm gonna center it up and down because tucking it into the edge takes care of everything else. Now it's just, I want it centered perfectly. You know, it's within the millimeter. <laughs> and we close it, close our card. And there we go, guys. What did this take me, 10 minutes? And that was with Gee Gawing. And there we go. And that was just pulling. I mean, it took me a few minutes, but not long. I did not allow myself to spend too much time thinking about, oh my gosh, I just grabbed and grabbed what I thought was right. And there's almost like a little spot there that I want to put. And I still have extra flowers here, but the problem is then it, it starts getting too busy. And then I, that's the thing is there is sometimes too much of a good thing. So we could add that little flower, but again, then we're, it's overpowering. We get too much. Usually two or three flowers is about the max. I could add a butterfly. That could be what it might be missing. So I don't know. I think we're just going to leave it. Leave, we're just going to let it slide like that. Now, 
what I'm going to do is now watch because what I have done, I literally went ahead and preset up. The best way to do this is to preset your cards. So go through them. I grabbed all my card bases and then I literally played poker. I dealt, everyone got one of these little sheets and then I started deciding what were going to be my die cuts. And then I die cut them all out and then I just played poker and added the flowers. So then all I have to do now is assemble the cards. So let's get to it. I know that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble around you I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best, what's best for you I know that you are having trouble 
right, my mad scrappers. So I have done it. I have gone through all the cards. So let's go through them real quickly. <clears throat> you saw me pull, put these all together. So I got what? Um, we'll go. Let's count them out. So, I mean, we got this one. So this is one. And I haven't put the centers in because that's not rocket science. I'll go back through them and, and just put those through. But you guys saw how I could do that. And so, I mean, these are all now done. And, you know, and I still, get, I made all of these cards. There's going to be 20 cards, okay? And I still have three pieces of ephemera and a boatload of the sentiments still left. So I can save those for future cards from other kits. So, I mean, all considering I just got through them, I probably it took me maybe about an hour to set these all up because, you know, I, I had to die cut all of them. And you saw where I missed a couple and I had to really quickly do them. And I, and I, and a couple of them, look, I pulled from slim lines that I have my Anna Griffin slim lines, but I think I'm, I'm happy with each and every one. They are, you know, some maybe, you know, I mean, I don't now, I mean, I can have, I could probably add that one right there. Look, Hey, that works. And now it looks so hung. Let's wait, 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 wait. We're going to add that in right now because if this video isn't long, let's just make it longer. But there we go. I wanted to make sure I had enough and now I had more than enough. So there we go. That one that looks better. I feel better about that one. <laughs> so there we go. That will dry up and we have this one and you guys saw me make this one already. So we have that though. Those we have those. And then here's the rest of the pile here. So one of them is duplicated. You can tell a couple of them. I really like them. So I go, Hey, we'll just make it the same again. So here again, I could on that one also add this little piece right down here or not. No, I don't know. I'm well, yes, no, yes, no. I'm not sure. I'll have to, I'll have to think about it. Cause I could also go over here with it. You know, now that I have little extra pieces, but no, because then that covers up and I really like, I don't know. Let's see. See, this is the problem. We're going to leave it right there and we'll figure it out. But I mean, for the most part, I'm really happy with how these all turned out. And I, you know, I started to be able to add more in because I wanted to make sure I didn't run out. So these guys are almost the same. They're almost identical except for just the flowers. And I could try to put that blue one. No, that blue one's too big. It's too, no, no, no. There we go. That one is just going to have to be left right there because I don't think I have any more flowers left. Yeah, I used them all up. So we have this one, which is very similar to that one, but now, but, the, but it all looks different because of all the different pieces. And then all of the, I, I cut out a vellum. I, I, the vellum was not fun to cut. It's not so much that the vellum was difficult to cut out, but it stuck to the mat. So it really took some scraping to get it off the magnetic mat. And then we have this one and I really like this one. I like the, I like the purpliness of it. And then this one with the little bee. So, I mean, now I no longer have to worry about having um, I, I, sympathy cards. I don't have to worry about being emotional, emotional about trying to put a card together. And now I have one less card kit taking up space. What am I going to do with the box though now? I mean, it's a nice box, but I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we're going to have to think about it because right now what's in it are the envelopes and the, um, the inserts that I'll do later. So hopefully you enjoyed this guys and you got something out of, you got my point. Like, look at this. I started this roll new when we started making these cards and this is what I have left. Am I upset about it? No, because I only pay a buck for it. Well, no, now it's a buck and a quarter, right? Buck and a quarter, maybe buck 50 regardless. Still cheap. I need, I think I'm down to this and one more roll. So I need to go out and make another, um, run on, um, the 99 cent store. Cause that's where I get this stuff. All right. So just say, remember if you're paying more than 99 cents, you're paying too much. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this and got my point. And you know, sometimes you just have to sit there and you do production work. You die cut everything. You, you know, you set it all up and then they assemble real quickly. Okay. But I'm going to let you guys go. So craft and make something beautiful, okay? And if you want to see more of the ongoing madness on this channel, then you know what to do. Subscribe and ring that bell because I'll always be back. Meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. Don't ever forget, this is more important than anything. We're all a little mad here. So come on, craft the madness with me, okay? I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye!